Yo, what's up guys? Here's your Dawn Marathon and today I'm finally revealing which is the data field I'm using for my Garmin Phoenix from Garmin Connect IQ. As you know, I'm intending to sell my Phoenix 5S Plus and looking for a, a bigger version and also hopefully some light enough version of the Phoenix 6 Series Pro. So I am finally revealing the data field which I have already posted on social media. I've been using once the uh, Ray screen from Garmin Connect IQ and the Peters Ray Spacer. And they're both great, but the one thing uh, which is bothering me is that they are having, uh, they have not the perfect um, display. They have not the, as many data fields as I've found on another uh, race data field screen. And the other thing is that they also cost a little bit. You can donate five, three euros. That's nothing if they would have been perfect. But now I found one for free and why not take that for free, which has the perfect uh, display outlay. So check it out. I'm going to show it on my laptop because those you can better check out the fields so here you have up to 11 fields you can of course arrange them either way you like over via the app on your phone and you can enter uh, the uh, anything you want every possible field anything you wish from average pace uh, lap pace whatever cadence whatever and I have chose, for example, this field because on the upper uh, section you can only put one field. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I count these two also as data fields because it is the battery and the GPS signal status. So you can also choose something else down here. So it is nine fields plus these extra two so well here you have up to three you can also choose two or even one field here in the middle which would be then of course wider but it doesn't make any sense because the width is uh, the same here and right here you can also have two or three fields and you can also adjust the width of this bar right here uh, apart from that, you can also add some colors to the pace range, which you are using as I'm here having here. The um, heart rate is also colored due to the, uh, according to the different zones here also. And here you have the pace. So I'm going to explain to you which uh, fields I've chosen, for example. So you have an overview of what it is to have such a wonderful data field. Up here, I'm having the heart rate, the current heart rate. Right here, I have it. The estimated time of arrival over 42k in this case i have chosen 42k you can also adjust 5 10 whatever distance you like here's the average heart rate this is the lap pace and you can set the lap to be at one kilometer which fits you best over certain distances this is the total distance this is the total average pace and here's the required pace you need to run in order to achieve for example in this case i've set the bar to three hour marathon and after two minutes and four seconds this is the timer total time elapsed time i've been so slow that i would need to run 414 for the remaining 41.77 kilometers in order to achieve a sub three hour marathon the other thing is totally elapsed time and this is the time, local time. And as I said, this is the GPS signal and the battery life. So this is the perfect data field, I hope. The name of it, yeah, it is G-Run. G-Run on Garmin Connect IQ. This is it for today. You're done marathon. Bye-bye. Peace out. We are going to eat some lunch.